Okay, so I've just found out I've got a puncture on my bike and I'm going to need to get home at the end of the day, so I've got to fix it. Luckily I've come prepared, so I've got a pump, I've got a tool which has some tyre levers on it, like that, and I also have some handy patches. Now I prefer these ones, the ones with separate glue, because they're much easier. You just peel them off and stick them on. So that's what we're going to use today. First step is to take the wheel off. So if you loosen off the brake and then pop your wheel off. Then you come to the valve and you take the little ring off if you've got one there. Now this is when you need your tyre levers. So you get one of them here and you just slightly to one side of the valve, you just poke it under the edge of the tyre and then try to slip round. If you're having difficulty getting a continuous section of uh, bead coming off the rim there, then you might want to use a second one and just to help it along further along the way, like that. So when you've got a nice bit coming off, hopefully you can just zip it all the way around, like that. Then we come back to the valve, we just pull the tyre over the top so you can see the inner tube inside. Pull the valve out carefully. And then you should just be able to pull the tube out all the way around. Okay. So now we've got our tube out. We need to find where the puncture is to fix it. So we need to put a bit of air back into it, just so we can find it. Now, most of the time, if your tyre has gone down pretty quickly, as mine has, within a day, something like that, then you should be able to find the puncture quite easily just by pumping it up and having a listen. If it's taken a few days to go down, gone slowly, then you might need to resort to dunking it in a bit of water just to look for some bubbles. Now, I'm having a listen and I can feel it on my face there. There's definitely a hole just there. Okay, so that's the bit I need to repair. So what I'll do is making sure I've got a thumb where the puncture is. Just let the air out and then start with the patches. So with these patches, you have a square of sandpaper to roughen up the tube to make sure it sticks. Um, so that's up there. And you also get the patch, which is just like a sticker. So, you find the hole, you make sure the area that the patch is going to cover is nicely roughened just to take the shine off the tube. Like that. And then just make sure there's nothing loose on there. Okay. Now. now making sure that the hole is in the middle of where your patch goes, you just lift the corner of the patch very carefully with your nail just so it all stays nice and sticky. And when you've got some of the patch off, fold the backing back like that, so you can line it up nicely without getting your fingers all over it. Uh, right. Just double check where it's going, and then start from one corner, and just smooth the patch on like that, as you peel off the backing. Okay. Just making sure there are no bubbles working from one corner to the other, making sure it's on nice and firmly, because you don't want to have to do this again in another 10 minutes. Just like that. Okay, so when you're happy that there are no bubbles in there and it's all on nicely, then we're almost ready to put it back in. So if you just put a little bit of air back in the tube, just so it takes its shape again, have another look, looks okay to me, 
Now we've put it like this so that it doesn't get caught when we try to put it inside the uh, tyre. Because otherwise if you pinch it, then you could make another puncture for yourself. Now, we find the valve hole again. There it is. We start with the valve, push it through, and bring the tyre over the top. Then we poke the inner tube in all the way around. Sets inside. Mm -hmm. And then we start seating the tyre inside the rim. Now as you do this, you want to try to make sure that the inner tube doesn't get caught. Having a bit of air in the tube helps that. And we kind of do the reverse with the uh, tyre levers here. We just hook it in as it goes round. Poke it in. Push the tube in. Like that. And then bring the tyre over. Push the tube in. Like that. And hopefully, you should get back to where you started and be able to pop the tyre on like that. That last stage might be a little bit tricky. Some tyres are a bit tighter than others, so you might need to use two tyre levers again just to finish it off. Now at this stage, what you want to check is that the valve is nice and straight. Now if it's pointing off to one side or the other, then you can just pull a bit of slack around the tyre to make sure it, to straighten it up there, because otherwise you have a danger of the valve breaking off, which you can't fix with a uh, punch repair kit. So now I'm going to put the little ring back on there, which some of you will have. And I'm going to pump it up. Ooh. Okay. Now, obviously, you have to pump it up a bit longer than that, but you don't want to watch me pumping this up all day, so we'll just go to the next bit, which should be just sticking it back on your bike. Get your leg that. Making sure your brakes are all tightened up again. And then you should be able to ride away. There you go.